Hello everyone. In today's session, we are going to convert a Moore machine to a Mealy machine. Uh, why we want this conversion is when we convert Moore machine to Mealy machine and Mealy machine to Moore machine, it proves that they are equivalent. Okay. So in order to prove the equivalence of Moore and Mealy machine, equivalence in the sense both accept same kind of language. So when I am able to solve a problem with Moore machine, I am able to solve the same problem with Mealy too. And the uh, and uh, the re reverse of the same has to work. Okay. To prove the same. Uh, we are going to have the conversion from Moore machine to Mealy machine and Mealy machine to Moore machine. So in this video, we are going to convert a Moore machine to a Mealy machine. And a Moore machine is something where you have your output associated with each and every state. Okay. So each and every state is associated with the output. And what about the Mealy machine? Mealy machine will associate this uh, output with the transition. Okay, so the output of your Mealy machine is based on the present state and the current input. So each transition will have an output associated with it. And how you are going to attach this output based on the Moore machine. So what I do, I have copied the same, like I have taken this example. And for the example, I have copied the same transitions over here, but I haven't included any output function. So just the DFA alone is drawn. Okay, so the procedure is very simple. What I am going to do is... I'm going to look into each and every transition and based on the transition, I'm going to attach an output. For example, Q0 when the input is A, where it goes Q0 when the input is A, it goes to Q1 and what output it produces? It produces 0 as an output here, right? So Q0 when the input is A, it goes to Q1 and it produces 0 as an output. So that will be copied to this transition here. Okay, so this also can be written as like if the transition of uh, this Mealy machine is taken as lambda dash. So lambda dash of Q0 when the input is A, I'm going to copy the output of transition of Q0 on A. Okay, so Q0 on A, where it goes, it goes to Q1. And what is the output of Q1? It is 0. I'm going to copy this to the transition of the output of Q0 on A. Q0 when the input is A, the output is copied over here. If you want to use a formula, you can use this formula or you can also directly copy it from the given diagram. Okay. Now Q0 when the input is B where it goes, Q0 when the input is B, it is a self loop. It goes to Q0 itself and what is the output produced here? It is 0. You can write it over here. Okay. If you want to uh, define it in this function, lambda of Q0 when the input is B, I'm going to copy the output of transition of Q0 on B. Okay, so Q0 on B where it goes, Q0 on B goes to Q0. What is the output of Q0? It is 0. I'm going to copy the 0 over here. Okay, so similarly we are going to repeat for the remaining process. Q0, Q1 when the input is A where it goes, it is a self loop. It goes to itself and it produces 0 as an output. And Q1 when the input is B, it goes to Q2 and it produces output as 1 here. Okay, so transition of, I'll write here, a lambda dash of Q1 when the input is B equal to output of transition of Q1 on B. So Q1 on B it goes to Q2 and the output of Q2 is 1. So I'm going to associate this one here. Okay, so similarly you can directly copy it from the diagram. Q2 when the input is A it goes to Q1, what is the output it produce? 0. And Q2 when the input is B, it goes to Q0 and the output it produces 0. Okay, so it is done. So this is how we convert any uh, Moore machine to a Mealy machine. Okay, so either you can use the formula or directly you can check with the link of path. Okay, so when I am copying the transition here, okay, it is a directed transition, right? So it leads to a state and this output will be copied here. And this leads to a state and this output whatever here will be copied here. Okay. So similar case occurs. So here it goes to Q1. So output of this will be copied. Q2 to Q0. The output will be copied over here. Okay. So this is how we convert a Moore machine to a Mealy machine. Thank you.